So in this echo, uh, this personal echo capture, I'm just going to show you some examples of what you can do with it. Um, for example, this case here, let's say I'm, I'm providing some formative feedback to a student on their work. Um, I can bring up Word. I can probably what I need to do because I've got a widescreen is actually need to zoom in um, quite a lot so that when the student's seeing this video back, um, the text is still very clear to them. So, for example, I could highlight a section there and say, well, actually, this needed to be improved in some way or other um, and I can progress through the, through this and it's, that just makes it easier to explain perhaps something that you'd have to spend a lot of time typing um, you can do it quite clearly and quickly using a visual method instead so for example let's let's highlight this bit here well what does a very good standard mean um, what's what what quantifies that for example you could go into so that's just like providing feedback on um, some text documents you could also uh, use it to explain a particular concept so you could bring up a powerpoint slide and um, you could go through a presentation or you could perhaps explain a concept more visually so if here for example i'm trying to explain the shifting boundaries between the personal and the professional uh, roles that students have uh, while they're at university so what we'll always experience is that personal and professional boundaries will overlap in some way but there's also a shift to how how much they overlap and who controls that overlap is it student driven or is it um, driven by what we get them to do in their work so just trying to explain sort of visually a concept here rather than um, via text so that's one other example you can also do technical demonstrations with it so here we're looking at Excel if I wanted to show someone how to sum a number a column of numbers I can select that I can put in my sum at, uh, at the bottom there so I can do a sum and then select all my numbers I want to be summed and then I hit enter and there's my sum easy peasy so um, there's different things you can do with the technical front as well I'm sure you'll have some ideas with SPSS uh, and other programs and finally of course you can use it to introduce your module site so um, I know that we've used this in some modules previously where the modules got either a lot of complicated elements or we're asking the students to do something before the module starts proper um, we can use this sort of uh, technology to introduce the module site and introduce the module itself you could say that we want you to participate in a particular discussion forum so you could go into the discussion forum and explain the concept of that forum uh, what you want students to get out of it and doing it with a voice rather than with a text adds that personal touch as well so it's you as a lecturer is then trying to engage with the students um, rather than just them trying to engage with text so four very brief and very quickly overviewed uh, approaches there to using this sort of technology we have the annotation on um, and feedback on work you have the opportunity to go through uh, a concept visually you have technical demonstrations for example using specialist software and you can have um, an exploration of your own VLE